Today we are going to perfect your Tarlua. Stick around. Well, hello, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking the video, subscribing below, hitting that bell icon, you know, all of that stuff. But now, on with the video. The Tarlua, probably the most misplayed, poorly played embellishment in all of our repertoire. And what makes it so difficult? There's a lot of things going on in a Tarlua. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I go about perfecting my own Tarluas and what I've worked with many students that have needed to have some improvement on their Tarluas. Now down below, there is a link to the PDF I have right here, which is my basic Tarlua technique. This is going to include Tarluas from A to A, B to B, and C to C. Now, I'll make a future video dealing with low G Tarluas and Tarluas from D that have that lovely B grace note. But that's beyond the scope of what I want to do today. Today I really want to focus on the Tarluas that we're going to see in the wild the most. I like thinking about Tarluas as a complicated G, D, E grace note exercise, bit of technique. I don't think of the Tarlua just as the two Gs to the final note. I kind of consider the Tarlua the whole bit of business from the G grace note taking you in to the note before the embellishment, the embellishment itself, and the note after that you're going up with that E grace note, the thing that makes it different from a grip or lemlua. So the first thing we're going to do is just work on the G, D, E and get them in the proper cadence. One of the big problems people have with our Tarluas is that the two Gs end up not being even or played correctly. Sometimes I hear the first one and not the second, sometimes it's vice versa, or sometimes the two Gs just don't fire. And yet the first step we're doing doesn't even have low Gs in it because it's all about the grace notes. It's all about the grace notes and making sure they fall in the right place and time. We're gonna go ahead and turn this metronome on. I'm gonna put it at 90, but you put it at the speed you need. And the first thing I do with everyone is just my basic warm up. And these are just GDE combinations for line one. We're gonna do a GDE combination on low A. And that's it. Let's start with that. Now, line two, we're gonna start on a low G. G grace note on low G, D grace note on low G, but now we're gonna get that super critical point of the snappy E grace note from low G up to A. And one of the things I'm gonna to try to demonstrate here, we don't want, we don't wanna kind of hungry, hungry hippos that E grace note. We don't wanna like and really drag out this grace note. It needs to be nice and controlled, snug, not overly cramped, I'm not pinching it out, but we don't wanna that E grace note. No. So it's nice and controlled and small. So two low Gs up to the A in this rhythm. When you can do that, we're finally ready to make it start sounding like a tar lua. For line three of the basic warm-up, we're gonna start on a low A. We're gonna hold it for one beat rather than a beat and a half. And then we're gonna go down to the low G right on the beat to initiate that first low G of the Tarlua. But we're gonna finish it the way we've just finished the other two exercises. The three grace notes in all three of these lines fall in exactly the same spot of the beat. Now for beginners out there, that should be plenty. I would do that until you have really nice, even control of your low Gs, that you're changing the notes on the beat and that your grace notes are nice and clean and crispy. I wouldn't worry about moving on until then.
you have that down and you're ready to try to start bringing your Tarluas into the real world, let's go on to the low A to low A Tarlua. The first two bars of this are exactly what we had in the Tarlua warm-up. The third bar, however, we're going to play it at twice the speed. And then we're going to go back to playing it one time through at the slower speed. For line two, same thing we did in the basic warm-up. We're going to start on a low G and make the E grace note transition back up to the A. Next high G grace note, back down to low G. Line three, again, we're going to now start making it feel much more like a tar lua. And you're going to hear, especially when you get to bar three, the cadence and feel of a tar lua is really gonna start becoming very clear. If you're having any issues with that line and it's not clear, bring the metronome down until you can get that third bar with those 16th note low Gs clear, clean, crisp, and controlled. Don't worry about line four until you can do line three correctly. It's about doing it right and well, not just fast. But when you have line three, let's go to line four. Now line four, the tar lua in the first two bars is the same speed as the fast one from the third bar above. And then you can see finally, we're writing tar luas in their normal way as we see in the third bar right there, they're gonna be yet a bit snugger yet still. And there you go, a nice, good, clean Taralua that you've worked up to over time. And I do these exercises a lot. I want my Taraluas to be as good and clean and crisp as they can be. And that means I spend a lot of time with the basic parts of these exercises. I don't just practice them at full speed over and over. I need to make sure that all of the bits stay nice, clean, clear, and crisp. On page two, it's all about tar luas from B to B and C to C. Now I understand a lot of tar luas from B are going to go down to low A, a lot of tar luas from C are gonna go down to low A. In fact, if you're doing P-Brock, you're gonna find that, well, all your tar luas go down to low A. This is about making sure that you can get that more difficult transition. That low G, E grace note taking to A, you've already practiced on the A to A tar lua. So for the B and C, we're gonna practice going back to the same note. So for the B to B, we're going to start on the B with the GDE pattern as we did with the A's. Then we're going to go down to the low G like we had done before, but now back up to a B, so on and so forth. I'm just going to play through the B to B Tarlua top to bottom, and we'll see how it goes. Again, I have the metronome set at 90.
And again, we'll do that exact same exercise on C, same format as the other ones. <laughs> I hope these exercises can help you build good, strong Tar Lewis. Again, we want to make sure you're working from the beginning of the exercise through to the end. Don't just work on fast Tar Lewis. That's not going to be helpful. It's not going to build your Tar Lua into what you need it to be. All right, guys, this has been my most requested technique video, and I hope you find this helpful. It is going to help with about 95% of the Tar Luas you're going to come in contact with. Now, I'll have a future video dealing with D Tar Lewis with that lovely B grace note, as well as Tar Lewis from low G, which are just their own weird animal in themselves. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, comment below with any questions or comments you might have about anything I'm doing here and your thoughts on all of this. And uh, maybe even head over to my Patreon where a small monthly donation makes a huge, huge benefit to me to make these videos. So anyways, guys, until next time, cheers. Cheers.